Hi everyone, my name is Mehmet Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on making a video tutorial series on C programming language. In my last video I completed the discussion on what is low level programming language and the topic of my today's discussion is what is mid level programming language. So before starting this video I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you got some valuable information from this video then click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section so now let's start the discussion on the topic of what is mid level programming language so as you can see here i have written down few points now with the help of these points we will try to understand what is mid level programming language. So now let us start our discussion with the first point. Middle level language is a computer language in which the instructions are created using symbols such as letters, digits and special characters. So in our last video we discussed low level programming language and in that video we discussed that in low level programming language each and every instructions will be written in the form of binary numbers that is either 0 or 1 whereas in the case of mid level programming language which is an another level of programming language so in this level of language the instructions will be written in the form of symbols and those symbols can be letters digits or special characters okay so second point is assembly language is an example of middle level language Okay. So, we can say that assembly language is an example of middle level language. Now, the third point is in assembly language, we use predefined words called mnemonics. Okay. So, whenever we will be writing down an assembly language, we will be making use of uh, mnemonics. Okay. So, I will give you an example how mnemonics looks like that I will show you once I complete this points okay now the fourth point is binary code instructions in low level language are replaced with mnemonics and operands in middle level language uh, in the first point itself i told you that uh, in low level language we used to write binary code binary instructions that is the instructions will be written only in the form of zeros and ones okay and these zeros and ones or binary instructions now in the case of middle level language gets replaced with mnemonics and operands next point is but the computer cannot understand mnemonics so we use a translator called assembler to translate mnemonics into binary language so here as we write the instructions in assembly language but computer cannot understand assembly language so there is a need of translator and the translator is called assembler this assembler translate the mnemonics code into binary language and we know that computer can understand only the language of binary numbers so this assembler is a translator who takes the mnemonics or assembly language and translate it into binary language which can then easily understand by the computer next point is assembler is a translator which takes assembly code as input and produces machine code as output that's the same point what I told you. Assembler is a translator which takes the mnemonics or the assembly code as an input and then after translating it, it produces the machine code as an output which can be easily understandable by the computer. That means the computer cannot understand mid-level language so it needs to translate it into a low-level language to make it understandable by the computer. Okay? So that means here computer cannot understand middle-level language as this language is been written in the form of mnemonics or assembly language so computer cannot understand it. So there is a need of translating this mid-level language into low level language so that computer can easily understand it next is assembler is used to translate middle level language into low level language next point is c language can be used to write both system softwares and application software okay so in my earlier videos also i have discussed about this point system software and application software okay so if you guys have not seen my earlier videos of this playlist so i just recommend you guys to watch my previous videos of this playlist as well so where you can come to know what is system software and application software okay so c language it can be used to 
develop both system software and application software so it supports pointer arithmetic but it is machine independent okay so c is a language uh, which offers pointer arithmetic feature which is a low level feature and it is machine independent that means whatever code you write in c you can easily port or use the same code in another platform as well which is a feature of high level that means c supports both low level feature as well as high level feature okay so as you can see here we i have written down a uh, example and this example is about adding two numbers using assembly language okay so this is so these instructions are written in mid level programming language or assembly language okay so uh, these are called as mnemonics m o u add okay these are mnemonics and a b these are the operands okay so in this way we used to write the mid level language or the assembly language so i hope you guys have understood what is mid level language now let us move ahead to discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of mid level programming language okay so the first advantage is writing instructions in mid level language is easier than writing instructions in a low level language as compared to low level language middle level language is somewhat easier instructions in mid level language is even easier to write and writing instructions in a low level language okay next is middle level language is more readable compared to low level language in mid level language we are using mnemonics and operands so it's quite become easier for a learner to understand and write the code then easy to understand find errors and modify okay so as compared to low level programming language the instructions written in assembly language or in the mid level programming language are easy to understand and we can easily find the errors and whenever there is a need arises to change the code written in assembly language we can easily modify okay now let us uh, see disadvantages of mid level language mid level language is specific to a particular machine architecture that means it is machine dependent okay so there is a disadvantage of using mid level language okay that means the instructions you write in one platform using assembly language those instructions cannot be used in other platform or in another architecture that is one of the disadvantages of mid level language mid level language needs to translate it into low level language oh, yes there is a need of translating the mid level language into low level language so that computer can understand so there is a overhead required in mid level language that is translation now the last one is middle level language executes slower compared to low level language okay so when we were discussing regarding low level language we discussed that there is no need of translation in the case of low level language but in the case of middle level language there is a translation required which is an additional step gets required in the process of executing the program written in middle level language okay so mid level languages obviously uh, takes more time as compared to low level language in terms of execution okay so these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of mid level language okay so i hope i have covered each and every point of mid level programming language okay and i'm sure you guys have understood everything about uh, mid level programming language and the advantages and disadvantages of mid level programming language okay. so that's all for this video guys if you guys like this video and if you guys got some valuable information from this video then click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video where i will be going to cover some another topic of c programming language and that's all for this video guys and thanks for watching